your ultimate team coin needs, check out utcoinsforyou.com. There will be a link in the description, and if you use the code CHEZ, you can get yourself a 5% discount. Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again with episode number 42 of the Chelsea career mode here on Xbox One and we're into the January transfer window. And we start with a rather un unusual email. We get a message from the board saying they'd like me to strengthen defensively. And this isn't particularly an area I was looking to strengthen in, in this particular window. But of course, John Terry is getting on in years, as is Branislav Ivanovic and Ashley Cole. Clearly the board feel that we need to bring in a new face or two in that area to, uh, to kind of make up for, uh, for the deficit that uh, you know the players that we currently have are losing their talents just kind of because the game makes people over 30 lose their stats but we do get some fantastically good news in this window and that is that Oscar is no longer homesick he's happy to stay at the club and I was so so happy to hear that because he's been one of our best players in both of the seasons so far and uh, he definitely is one of our brightest prospects 86 rated and he's still only like 22 23 years old and valued at 30 plus million so uh, I definitely want to keep hold of him but we are looking for uh, for a defensive mid a Michael Essien replacement and Leroy Fair is the player that I'm uh, I'm looking at for that uh, to start off with in this window but we'll uh, we'll push aside from that for the minute because we do have West Brom at home in the Barclays Premier League now it's in the rain and uh, I'm not too good in the rain as you guys are fully aware but we're doing well in the league so far you'll be able to see on your screen in just a second that we sat one point behind Arsenal at the top of the table with Manchester United a further point behind us and Manchester City a further point behind them with two further teams on 39 points as well so it's very very tight at the top of the league which is kind of polar opposite to how it was last year if you remember Manchester City absolutely ran ran away with the league title, ended up winning it by 15 points, 16 ahead of us as we finished third, one point behind Tottenham, but it's close so far, so if we can maintain a good run of form, then hopefully we'll be able to uh, to stand a good chance of winning that Barclays Premier League title in our second season at Chelsea Football Club, and we had to rely on uh, Thibaut Courtois there to draw a good save out of the, uh, the lovely lofted effort from Shane Long, not quite enough elevation on it, and he's a great save. Tibble Courtois up to hook it away but we're going to have to call on him again from this corner the ball's going to come in they're going to miss the header but it's uh, Stephen Reid of all players that gets the volley in and Courtois this time down low with his foot as opposed to up high with his hands keeps the ball out of the back of the net we pushed into the second half and I really wanted to make sure I got in front early on if I possibly could so I was getting a little bit nervous that we weren't going to pick up three points after the way West Brom defended in the first half and Oscar comes oh so close to getting us in that lead smashing it off the bar just a couple of minutes after the restart Andre Scherler was in influential in this first half as well obviously doing really really well back from injury starts the uh, starts the games at the minute on the left hand side plays a lovely ball into Torres and the shot is unfortunately blocked and uh, the ball goes out for a corner which nothing came of but uh, we're going to have another chance here on the 70th minute now Sherlock lovely ball over the top to Torres great first time control and a wonderful second touch as he smashes it up into the top left hand corner that was a fantastic goal the uh, the technique from Torres to bring it down over his shoulders he's coming over the blind side of the uh, the defender as well so then have the presence of mind to bring that down perfectly with a first touch and then volley it into the top corner is absolutely exquisite and I could not be more happy with the way that Torres put that goal away and we get fortunate just 10 minutes from time that uh, De Chilio is able to put Shane Long off with a lovely last ditch challenge fortunately for Shane Long it rebounds back to him but fortunately for us he can't capitalise and put the ball into the back of the net so we do run out 1-0 winners and take the 3 points from this one so I was absolutely delighted to do it would have been nice to win it by a bigger margin but we're not going to uh, we're not going to argue we've taken 3 points that's all we want for now doesn't matter how you win so long as you win but uh, the initial bid for Leroy Fair was rejected and I was going to offer a bit more money but uh, then I thought no you know what we're trying to get rid of Michael Essien perhaps if I offer a little bit less money and swap Essien in uh, as kind of an extra make weight then maybe maybe they'll uh, they'll accept that so I gave it a go I offered 8 million plus Michael Essien and we'll have to wait and see what happens with that particular deal but uh, we come into the second game of the episode now which is away at Old Trafford a massive game now Luis Muriel is starting up top in this one ahead of Fernando Torres he's with his form recently he's actually pushed his way into my starting 11 so uh, this is a full 100% fully fit first team going into this game away at Man United so I was hoping to come away with three points from this one again if we possibly could but they're still just three points behind us clearly in good form themselves towards the top of the league so we wanted to maintain our Good run of form but similarly they would have wanted to maintain their good run of form as well but we kept the ball played through to Arturo Vidal early on lovely chest down and unfortunately Anders Lindegaard is able to make a decent save push the ball away and get it well out of danger it goes out for a throw in rather than a corner and uh, we have to try it again but we're coming down the left hand the right hand side rather with, uh, with Lewis Muriel using this pace fantastic feet to cut inside and he just has that small window of opportunity to rifle it 
as hard as he possibly can across the goal into the back of the net and he takes it with both hands and uh, we go 1-0 up early on the first half was literally more dominance in this one than it was against West Brom which really uh, weeded not weeded me out but it was uh, surprising to me that Man United weren't really as much of a challenge in this first half than, uh, than West Brom had been for the entirety of the previous game but Antonio Valencia gets a wonderful opportunity there to put them back on level terms and he misses it tries to lift the ball over Czech maybe uh, Petr Czech rushing out at him put him off but he gets another chance here through one on one again and this time he puts it past the same post low down to the right hand side see from the replay question of offside actually but uh, Petr Czech spreads himself just enough in front of him and he isn't able to put the ball away and we stay at 1-0, heading towards half-time. Williams going to get another chance, trying to find that far top corner, and he's oh so, so close to uh, to doing just that. But we're going to go in at half-time at 1-0. Lovely uh, physics, or physics, lovely graphics here of the outside of our Trafford. Hopefully for FIFA 15, they bring in these kind of out-of-ground shots for Stamford Bridge as well, because that would be absolutely fantastic to see as a Chelsea fan. But anyway, let's push forward on into the second half, shall we? And Nani had come on at half-time, and he was causing me all sorts of problems throughout this second half, and that was kind of the uh, the way the second half was going to go it was quite uh, I don't know David Moyes must have just absolutely rammed into them at half time because they flew at me but not before we were able to go 2-0 up with a fantastic header from Marco Royce in all fairness the ball was actually intended to be a drilled low cross towards Muriel who was free around the penalty spot but uh, Ramirez actually stood it up towards the back post to uh, to Marco Royce you see Lewis Muriel there he's just dropped off the defender that was who the uh, the initial shot was or initial cross was intended for but that header from Royce you can see it better from this angle was so perfectly placed away from the goalkeeper just inside that post I didn't appreciate how good that header was until I saw that second replay fantastic stuff from Michael Royce he's really started to hit some goal scoring form recently which is absolutely fantastic to see now we've had an offer for Romelu Lukaku a player we def we most definitely are looking to get rid of in this window now Juventus have offered eight and a half million he's valued at nine but I don't want to I don't want to counter offer too much and get too greedy I just want to make sure that he gets out of the door because he's just not going to get used so uh, I counter offered 15 and we'll have to wait and see if they accept that offer but as you can see the uh, the Chelsea board have acknowledged the uh, the improvement of uh, of the the results we've had so far despite to me, in all fairness the the results before they came back to uh, came to me with the the earlier email they've been quite good as well but nevertheless we've proved to the board that we most definitely are the man to take Chelsea forward and we've moved to the top of the table one point ahead of Arsenal now as we head into the second half of the season and further into the January transfer window so that's going to bring this episode to a close guys thank you very much for watching please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind that'd be absolutely superb if you missed yesterday's video then there will be a link as an annotation on screen over the, uh, the little snippet of gameplay there and of course if you aren't subscribed to the channel already and you'd like to do so there will be an annotation on screen over that subscribe button and a link in the description but that's going to bring this one to a close so thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you next time